Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'll tell you about cost update. Such an interesting term, isn't it? I'll tell you all about it in terms of the Express Entry program, but it would be general for any online visa which is applied to enter Canada. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, I am Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and press that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, so what is a ghost update? So let me tell you that uh, this is not an official term and you won't find it anywhere in the IRCC website. So from where did this term actually come up? This term actually came up from all of those applicants who applied for Express Entry and for any other online visa for Canada. So what is it actually all about? Once you receive the ITA, then you will have to submit your documents. You'll be given a couple of months time, then you have to submit those documents and then there will be a long period until you get your PPR or the golden mail. So you'll actually get the ghost update somewhere between this time period. Now, there might be one ghost update or there might be a couple of ghost updates. So what is it actually all about? So a ghost update is actually an update in your CIC account, which you'll be able to notice, but you won't find any real updates in your, uh, in your application details as such. So if you log into your account, you'll find something like uh, this. So application or profile updated, but when you go on to click uh, the check full application status, this button, you'll find all of the same details over there. So you get confused. You said, okay, fine. Uh, what's the update? You log out again, you log in, then you'll find this uh, current status as submitted. You get confused. You're like, Okay, then uh, I saw something else, application profile updated, but there's no update again. You log out, you log in again, and then you'll see similar thing once again, application profile updated. So this is the ghost update. You actually don't find any real updates in your uh, application status, in the detailed application status, but there would be an update over here uh, in this page, and it would say something like the, your application or your profile has been updated. So to explain it better, let me show you some examples. I've taken a few screenshots from our Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group. Over there, people often post their timeline of the complete process of their Canada PR. So in the first example, you can actually see that uh, the ghost update was actually received just two days before the PPR. Similarly, in the second example, you can see that there was a ghost update, which was an email, and it was a few months before. But yes, there was uh, two other ghost updates, which was just a couple of days before the uh, PPR mail or the golden mail. In the third example as well, you can see that uh, the ghost update just a couple of days before the PPR mail. So it is very common that uh, you might get these ghost updates just few days before you get your PPR, but this is not mandatory because this is not a rule. Sometimes in some cases it has also happened that uh, just after the ghost update, people have been asked uh, to submit additional documents. So that has also happened. So it is not mandatory that uh, you would be getting PPR mail soon after that. But yes, in most cases it does happen that uh, just after ghost update, you'll get your PPR or the golden mail and it would look something like this. So what does this ghost update actually mean? That someone is actually working on your profile. And of course, by someone, I mean the immigration officer is working on your profile and he or she might be finalizing things up to give you the PPR mail. And as I told you, this is not just the case of uh, the Express Entry program for PR. Even when I applied for uh, the tourist visa for my parents, I got a similar ghost update. I got confused and then I realized that it is a ghost update and I might be getting the visa update pretty soon. And just the very next day, I got the update that uh, the uh, visa was granted. So this ghost update is actually pretty general in case of uh, other online visas as well. 
So yes, that was it. That was all the information I wanted to share with you guys. I just hope that you like this video. If yes, please click the thumbs up button. If no, click the thumbs down button. And yes, also do not forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done that yet. Thanks again.